Okay, so what's up guys? My name is Andrei Kosmin and this is my first car rendering tutorial posted on YouTube. I just want to share with you my car rendering process and uh, see how it goes, so let's begin. I started the rendering process by creating a nice background with an orange ground plane and I've chosen that because I want the ground to be reflected on the side of the car. The next step was to create a basic raw shape for a car and I'm not concentrated on defining the outline or making the edges look sharp I'm just trying to fill the car with the color after that as you can see I've started to define the volume by experimenting with light reflections usually I define the main elements from the start but uh, this step can be made in the middle of the rendering process if you know from the start where you want to put your reflections if you're not sure about how the scene will look I would recommend to define your main elements when you start rendering Now the next step is to add some shadows to the car in order to create contrast and make the shapes be more realistic. This is a very important step, so be sure you are putting the shadows in the right places. From this point on I am experimenting with the reflections that are coming from the environment and for me this is the most important step because almost all the details come from how the light is reflected on the car. I am aware that the right headlight seems to be placed too high and I will fix that later in the process by putting a big white reflection around that to make it look like it's lower than the left headlight. The volumes are determined by the way you put your lights and reflections so pay attention to them. I spend the most time at this step because beside the environment itself you have the ground plane that will affect your car's reflections. I am using a different color for the floor because it gives to the car more interesting reflections and you can create nice details. Now comes the part that I always hate, the details. Everyone has his own way to make the headlights, the mirrors and other stuff like that. So there is not much to share in this part, except the fact that details are very important if you want to have a great uh, final image. I hate to draw wheels because I am lazy and as you saw a couple of moments ago I just like to copy them from an image and fit them in the right places. After I end the rendering process I always put all the layers in a folder, duplicate it and merge the copied one into a single image. Here I usually make color adjustments or perspective modifications using the selection tool, then free transform and then wrap function. Before I end this video I want to take a moment and present you my ebook. It's called the render book and here I present my rendering technique in simple steps that are easy to follow. Also I discuss about color theory, how I design my scenes in terms of lights, how to choose the best colors for your rendering and also I break my rendering process in simple steps with images so you can understand how a rendering is done. Beside that you will get the walkthrough video where you will see me actually rendering the card that's presented in the book so you can understand even better the steps that I've taken. Finally you will get the sketch that I've started with, the color palette and the final PSD file where you can find all the layers. If you want to know more about the book, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay guys, so this is it. I hope you like it and go to all the designs to grab your free sketching tutorial if you haven't downloaded it. See you next time.